Okay, let me uh, record this video. Oh, so UFOs and religion, oh, spirituality. No, well, I don't know. I think the Bible is more literal than we think. This is a quote or paraphrase from this video. It's a good. A lot of people have mentioned this that the Bible is a. It's a story about uh, extraterrestrials, aliens interacting with humanity and uh it's a story of that there are some kind of uh spiritual truths or but it seems to me like the bible is like a uh an amalgamation of various stories that were around at the time and uh, that some of the stories about the flood like there was a prehistory <laughs> like our human history goes way back like much further than what we are told um the more i learn about ufos the more i feel that religion may be true when i say religion may be true i'm not saying <laughs> The claims or the doctrines are true. Um, religion gets such a bad rap. Um, I guess. I guess. I guess it comes down to the fact that human beings don't like being told what to do. We don't want to be slaves. And some of these aliens who came and who wrote the Bible. I uh, mean, you know, inspired the stories in the Bible. They were trying to play gods. And humans don't like being ruled over and uh, abused. So, you know, it's a story about humans rebelling against that. And anyway, uh, but uh, the idea that humanity has been interacting with aliens it's a it's a i think it's a very common theme um so i guess when i say religion may be true i'm just saying that they, things might be more literally true than uh, like the fact that when they talk about god they're talking about an alien like a yahweh or in the bible that there are these spiritual beings and we may indeed be their creation that's the question i have is uh uh what do they what do i mean by spiritual beings are uh, like reality seems to be composed of several densities where we cannot see aspects of reality where it's not all material like some of these ufos they phase into our material realm where we can detect them see them and detect them maybe there is a t maybe we don't have the technology to interact with these machines or these ufos because it's advanced technology you know like if you, if you think about wireless uh unless you have the computer the wire the network card you, you could you can't obtain the information so maybe you don't have the information to, uh, or the, the technology to interact with them on the other hand also th there's also this idea that the more evolved beings are, exist in a, it's also about your conscious the evolution of your consciousness so if you are someone who is always who lives in a fear-based paradigm you cannot evolve, you cannot be on the same level as more enlightened beings. Because um, I guess it comes down to power. Because if when you have, when you go higher up in this evolution of the consciousness, 
you might have access to a lot of power. And if you are a sort of person who is very fearful and you can use your power in a destructive way that can cause a lot of harm, so there is this kind of uh, inherent uh, mechanism for ensuring that those who have more power uh, are more consciously enlightened so they're not living by a fear-based paradigm so maybe there's something like that uh, uh, humans are extraterrestrials that is not our home our ancestors forebears came from somewhere else what video is that i don't know we are not from here uh, now, I know from the perspective of science or the established mainstream scientific narrative that this all sounds weird, but I think we've all been fooled. Like Haim Ashed said, we need to know what space is. I don't think humans or mainstream science really understands what space really is or something like that. But maybe scientists working in the uh, military know more than what we in the civilian like the public is not being told a lot about reality about space about consciousness about the interplay between consciousness and uh, the material world like there might be a lot of uh, things going on here that we are not being told or we're being, we're being discouraged from exploring because they're afraid that we will unlock our potential and become difficult to control, be a threat. <laughs> uh, I just want to say it. I don't care how I about how I look or if people hate me. God is real. God is as real as anything can be. I think God is more real than anything we see and touch. I just know it. I have always known it. At a very young age as a child, I looked up at the sky, the stars, and imagined if I am looking up there, maybe there is someone out there looking down at me. And this is what I thought of as God, the creator of the universe, the ultimate supreme being. This is who I believe created us all and who is part of all reality, the fabric of creation, both the heavens and the earth, space and other dimensions and the material earth and the material realm. I think there are heavenly spiritual realms. To me, some of these UFOs come from this spiritual from these spiritual realms. This is why I feel like the Bible may be literally true. When they talk about heaven, they're talking about a different realm. Maybe there is a scientific explanation for this. But whatever it is, it is something of the immaterial realm or a type of matter that is not like us. I mean, our bodies, that is earth. It's something different from what we perceive as matter. That is spiritual, heavenly. The word spiritual and heavenly has connotations of enlightenment. It's not neutral. You see, even when, when someone says spiritual, they're talking about like a higher frequency, a frequency of love and openness. So, the, the, I guess things aren't neutral, you know? When you talk about going from 3D to 4D to 5D, you there is this idea that there is enlightenment, there is benevolence, there is... where where we are we have these polarities of fear and love positive and negative but it seems like the higher you go up the less there is a polarity and there's more of the love frequency uh i think that is yeah i don't think these other diamond densities are neutral i don't think they are all like where we are a oh, different realm from the material that is somehow connected with it, interfaces with us. The heavenly spiritual realms. Maybe there are many such realms or 
densities of matter, reality, the cosmos. This is all fascinating stuff, something which mainstream science just does not want to engage. But the military, the uh, hidden projects might be interfacing with it. But which the military does engage in, mainly to develop weapons. I think the ridiculing of religion and faith is a psyop conducted by the U.S. military and the national security state to stop people from tapping into their innate spiritual powers. Tucker Carlson mentioned this in a recent interview about how the people in the know don't want you to engage in spiritual matters. Why? Um, I guess they don't want you to take it seriously. I guess I don't think the government cares because they can use religion to control people. So it's an effective tool to control people. But if you really believe in it, if you really believe in it, then you might be able to tap into these, uh, you might be able to communicate with other beings and then, then they lose control over you, right? So religion can be used to control, but when you, when you actually de take it seriously and deal with these other realms, they might, you know, you might be difficult to control. Because they know this stuff is real, it's simply that they don't have a handle on it and don't want you, regular humans, to engage in things which they cannot control. I believe this is a true statement. You, I, we all have innate spiritual powers. The powers that be don't want you to know this, so they ridicule such things or simply leave it to faith. Yeah. No, you have real power and they are afraid you will tap into this and be a threat to them. It's this fear control thing. I think that's how garments are, or unfortunately seem to be. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, Tucker Carlson, uh, suppressing supernatural connection to UFOs. Here are some fascinating accounts of human, civilian, and military interacting with UFOs. The UFOs, they appear ethereal, which I call spiritual, and which most people may regard as such. <sighs> this may be one aspect of why these beings are perceived as spiritual, but there's also the good and evil aspect. I believe this is also a real thing. Yes, I think there is something to good and evil and... Love and fear. Love and fear. I'm trying to uh, live on the side of love. Starting with loving myself, uh, it has to start with me. I have to learn to let the let the frequency of love enter my life, because I don't want to be consumed by fear and uh, all those negative things. Uh, I have to. I haven't finished watching this, but I think I'll just remove this because uh, I need um. Uh. Less than 5,000 characters. Just watching this video, this person talking about seeing spiritual things, entities in the spiritual realm, but demons and angels, among other things. Yes, this is reality, people. We have been brainwashed to think this is not real. The modern people. Maybe it's the devil or negative ETs, NHI, who want to perpetuate this ignorance. So they can have control over humans. What is that phrase? It goes something like, the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he did not exist. It was mentioned in that movie, The uh, Usual Suspects. Maybe Jesus did die on the cross for our sins and he is trying to save us from these demonic realms and the evil intentions and workings of the devil. Maybe this is real. Wow, what if there is truth to this and I have been keeping myself from embracing it because of fear? Are the consequences of embracing it of change? What if God is actually real and not some idea in my head? A lot of rambling. <laughs> uh, right now, I am trying to deal with my traumas. I'm dealing, I'm trying to deal with my traumas, my emotional 
bones and i think i might have uh, i think they might have been you know i think i think i had an out of body experience once due to a traumatic event and i remember my uh, going like my my perspective going on above me and looking down on what was happening i think during that moment when my my soul my left the body my body might have been possessed by a, another entity and maybe this entity have for years has been tormenting me with all these negative thoughts and fear and anger and all of this constantly tormenting me i think i have heard stories of people you know like when you like when your soul leaves and other like walk ins and putting other souls in people's bodies i think this is some kind of a technology you know i think we need to be open to that possibility that the, like like the soul and the body like the dna is like an interface into this third dimensional realm like what if the this whole i've heard this idea of this this planet is like a, a like there was a, apparently some kind of a field around the planet and when we die when our souls travel leave the body some beings try and convince us to go back uh, manipulate us into saying we have to bad karma so you have to reincarnate and then they just attach our souls to various bodies and we are we, we get born again uh into <laughs> when we 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 reincarnate back into different bodies and different people and they they you know this idea is there so yeah, I, i'm trying to deal with my traumas because i want to experience the the frequency of love because yeah i'm trying to figure out who i am and what i want uh, i i uh, i need to bring love into my life through the intention so uh this is very difficult to do because i've got a lot of uh, trauma i have to deal with and yeah, it's very very difficult um challenging um but i think it's a choice you know you have a choice you have a choice um i think you know i have to take all these negative things in me and transmute them show compassion to myself so when i go through negative feelings or memories or triggers i'm trying to show compassion to myself because then i need to do that to to heal so so you know um because when i show compassion to myself i show it to the whole world it starts with me so i'm showing compassion to myself and then you know because it's so easy as humans to feel angry and you know it's so easy it's very difficult being human